Hey, what is up guys? So today we are going to be checking out a game called Warriors of Glory. And some of you guys know I love ARPGs and this one recently just came out. It is a mobile game so a lot of people will have more access to it. But you guys know I love Diablo 3 Path of Exile but I'm really hoping for like another ARPG. So let's go ahead and check out this one. Like I said, it's called Warriors of Glory. If you guys want to check it out yourself or download it, I'll leave links down below in the description box. But uh, here's what we got for the character creation. So we got Barbarian. We got Assassin and Wizard. So, I basically took a few glances at this game already. I have a level 5 Wizard, but we're just going to go ahead and load right in so we don't have to do the tutorial. And also, I did this so I can orient my camera in the appropriate spot. Uh, because, you know, every game is going to be different. You don't know where everything's going to be. So, as far as the game goes, uh, it's, it's your standard, like, you know, movement. Um, but uh, what I kind of like with this game, and, and a dislike, because this is going to be a first look or first impressions on the game, as uh, this is a sponsored video, um, I'm going to basically tell you guys what I like about the game, and what I dislike or things that they can improve upon. So, one thing that really got me interested in actually doing a video on this game was one of the things that they offer is a real-time 2v2 PvP, and I was like, whoa, real-time PvP? Because a lot of these games, if you guys haven't played some of the mobile ARPGs, uh, what they do is, like, when you go into PvP, it's basically just like you're playing against like someone else's like character, but it's a bot. You're not doing it in real time, uh, meaning that you're basically just stat checking something and that determines a winner from that. But anyways, we'll go ahead and just play the game. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get into like the PvP because you guys know how anyone that's played any MMO or like ARPG understand like you have to wait until you get the gear and then you can go PvP because if you go straight in, you're just gonna get wrecked absolutely like. Uh, it's gonna have like no chance at all, but anyways, there is a story to this. Oh wow, that's a great cam, man. Look at that. <laughs> looks, looks like I got some boobs over there. But uh, anyways, so anyways, you can move around, um, and then I have several abilities right now. So one of them is just a like movement. Um, well, let's turn off the auto. So this game does have an auto feature, um, and the feature lets you, like if I don't want to play this game, like I can just let it go into full auto, sit back here, I could be playing another game and the game would level me up, so if that's something you're interested in doing, feel free to go ahead and do that. I personally like to play my games, I feel like that's the point of playing the game, but I know that over in Asia, a lot of games are like that, and I have no idea, um, you know, of the genre that that appeals to, but personally, I like to play my games. Um, I find it to be less effective than actually playing the game, so that's kind of good in one sense, um, that like actually playing the game, like you're going to actually be able to dodge stuff much better. Uh, so, one thing you'll see is there's like a line of like his uh, attack, so it'll show you where the enemy is attacking, and you can kind of evade that. So, a lot of ARPGs have introduced that. Um, one of the first games that I thought did it really well, which is technically still not even out, is Lineage Eternal. I'm looking forward to playing that game uh, once that launches, but you can see the path of the uh, attack. And so I'll use some of my abilities, because they look freaking sweet. Like, look at that ability! That reminds me of some of the abilities in like Diablo 3, and like, the graphics on this are really good uh, for mobile, obviously, like for, you know, a full PC, even like, this, these aren't bad. I wouldn't not play this game because of its graphics, but like I said, there is uh, a story to it, but uh, we won't jump too much into the, you guys want to check out the full story, obviously you guys can check out the game yourself, but I do like the visuals of this game, like, it looks pretty dang good. Again, um, I, I feel like a grandpa every time I look at these mobile games, and I'm like super impressed by the graphics, so like, uh, I guess you get to choose like what you got. I'll take the- oh, you gotta- yeah, I'm able to sell, okay. So like, some of these games like after you complete like one of the missions, it's like you get like three random like chests and you open up and of course you never get the, the, the one that the, has the best item, right? But um, one thing that I also noticed with a lot of these mobile games just in general is like during the, the hub overworld, like your entire screen is just covered up with like events, Our notices. Um, okay, so we gotta talk to him. Okay, oh, okay, that thing's kind of in the way. It really want, it want, really, really wants me to talk to Murdoch. Okay, we will talk to him. Okay, there we go, hold on. Okay, so if I go to finish quest, oh, we can, we can open up these? Oh, okay, so we can, is, for logged in for, okay, well, these were awesome rewards. As long as you play the game for three, three to like 10 minutes, you just get some, well, that's pretty cool. You can level up your character 10, 15, 20, 25, 40, and 50. Oh, okay. So, um, that's kind of cool. Like, you can just, like, get all these things. So, like, like I said, I haven't really jumped into the game and played a ton of it, because I wanted it to be a first impressions of it. But um, I do like that they show that there's events going on. Um, I was thinking more along the lines, okay, there's seven, there's weekly login rewards. Oh, 
Oh, and you get the, the gems. And the gems, I guess, are the um, real currency. Like, if you wanted to spend real money, I'm guessing that that's what you can use to, you know, enhance your character or something like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, finish up the quest. But I do like that they tell you, like, you can just complete quests. I like that. Um, kind of autoplay because sometimes uh, it, like the quest will be like talk to this guy in this area and like you cannot find that guy you know so I definitely say that that is a huge upside um, but as far as like the autoplay like let's go ahead and just do the autoplay and we'll see how effective the autoplay is because that is a feature that some people like um, I think that some people don't like it and if you don't like it that's fine you just don't hit the auto uh, my cam is actually blocking it but it, it, there's you can go manual uh, or full auto. And I'm just going to let it go into full auto. And you guys can see how effective the uh, AI will deal with it. So, so far we haven't gotten hit. So that's pretty effective. Um, I am a wizard, so I'm going to be, you know, wanting to sit back at a range. I don't really want to stay up and uh, personal with things. But if, it, if something else is range, that's understandable if it gets hit by that. But, um, I mean, overall right now it's doing a relatively good job. Um, Let's go to full auto. Okay, there, there we go. And now it's using the abilities. Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's pulling everything in relatively effectively. I was hoping it would use that ability to, like, go back. Okay, okay. it's it's It kind of dodged there. I mean, it's still pretty up and personal with that uh, boss. But look at that 300-hit combo. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the AI is just too good for me. Maybe I need to get on the AI's level because, I mean, I, mean, I feel like this, this enemy isn't really attacking us. But maybe the the AI did like dodge something right there, so maybe the AI is just on some next level stuff. That's cool. Um, but as far as like the game goes, um, it seems like there's a lot of other games that offer this. The one thing that I'm looking forward to, uh, I mean, heck, with with all this like autoing, maybe I'll just be able to get it relatively quick. I want to try out the PVP because I, I like PVP way more than PVE. But again. Um, more than likely, if I go into PvP, I'm just going to get absolutely just destroyed. And uh, some of the stuff does require like certain levels, so I don't even know if I can do PvP. But um, for a lot of people, they disable. Well, for a lot of game developers, what I've noticed is they'll disable PvP until you get to a certain level. And that is because if you go into My PvP and you get wrecked super, super hard, you're going to be like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Like it's discouraging for some people. I can understand that. You know, that's not going to be. Um, a factor in when I play PvP because if I go in like not really knowing the game I don't really expect to win um, if I can learn anything that's really great but uh, looks like we're in a new area so let's go ahead and just uh, enter up this area uh, your power is lower oh, well, I got this no worries let's go in um, let's let's do it ourselves this time because I, I, I do want to um, test out my skills over here so uh, we'll try to dodge everything Oh, I like how it clumps them all up. That was really good. Uh, yeah. But they're, they're staying, staying relatively far back. So what I like with this is you can immediately, like, blink forward. Uh, and also, I have this ability, my, like, lightning column, I want to call it. This is an awesome move to hold them back. Because, it, you know, it makes them stick there. But that move is really cool, too, because it also uh, is, like, kind of a... A, like escape so to speak because it um, it makes it so you're stepping backwards so obviously you wouldn't take damage my power level's too low all right we got this anyways no problem I love that move it's just so cool that like it goes back and then it attacks like I like that a lot I want more skills to mess around with as well um, I just wish that they had like a overworld which you can party up with people and it'd be real time but I feel like I haven't seen a game that can do that and it's probably because of connection-based issues. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to try not to get hit. Because it did say our power level was, like, under what it should be. But, uh, we'll see. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That thing hits for a, a lot. Okay. You know what? Let's just let's just let the, uh, the full auto go in. Can it do it? Can the full auto do it for me? Because if we lose, it's completely not my fault. <laughs> right? Oh, no. The AI is doing really good. Can the AI not get hit? Ooh. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Did, did you see the AI? Yeah, it did try to back off, but um, you, we need to increase our power. So uh, we probably should equip some of the stuff we got. But sometimes I like to test out, you know, in a game, um, can I actually uh, do something that you're not technically geared to do? So we'll go to our character. Let's go ahead and equip all the stuff. Um, oh, so we're not even level 10, so we can't even equip that. 
Or can we? Oh, we're level 9. Okay. Let's get to level 10. Let's do that boss again. So we're just going to go ahead and um, do a uh, another one. So it looks like it's like one of those ones where you path out to a certain like boss or... Uh, oh, this is elite stage. Oh, okay. We'll do that one after we get to level 10. We can equip some of the new stuff. So maybe we'll have to do like one of these uh, again. And then uh, we can do that boss because I want to show him who's boss of this gym, you know? So let's go ahead and let's do the auto. Uh, this this tile set right here reminds me super of Diablo 2. I'm uh, not Diablo 2, Diablo 3. Uh, if you guys watched some of like the earlier access uh, of that game, uh, this looks very, very similar. Like, the graphics are just absolutely like great. Um, but I feel like the the melee AI should be a little bit more aggressive. Obviously, the ranged ones they can't be rapidly attacking. Uh, looks like my uh, my guy over here is is a little bit too far away, not in range. So I'm just gonna move him. Let me just go do this manually. But I oh the boss is approaching already. Okay, so we're level nine. Um, hopefully we can get enough exp to finish uh, off and get level ten. Because uh, once we hit level ten, uh, we can equip all of that gear, and then it'll probably increase our power rating. And I think that that's kind of nice though, because you know some games they won't tell you you're not supposed to be able to do this, and then therefore you lose, and you're like, wow, dude, this game's too hard. But like you know you need to level up. That's just kind of how ARPGs are. It, 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 in a sense, it's it's just like a, a longer version of Cookie Clicker. <laughs> it's a more animated version of Cookie Clicker, where you're, it's just a numbers game. You know, like, do you have this amount of gear? Obviously, there is a little bit of skill to it. Um, like, dodging abilities can, you know, be factored in as well. But uh, mostly, it, it's gear-based. Like, if you, if you guys have played Diablo, <laughs> you know that game is, is like, super gear-based. But I don't know how gear-based this game is. Um, because being able to dodge the abilities is, is obviously, like, really easy. For the most part. Uh, I don't know if there's any stuns or any like type of CC in the game. I haven't gotten like too far into the game. Like I said, uh, we were just level 5. We are already level uh, 9, so that's good. We'll teleport behind me. I wonder if you do more damage from uh, the back. Maybe as an assassin you do. We have an 8 hit combo. There we go. So a victory. Uh, so there were side quests. Let's go ahead and do some of the side quests just to see like what they are. Because sometimes side quests are like, you know, talk to this person or like, uh, you know, browse around in this like certain area and like, you know, kill five wolves, right? <laughs> like the generic uh, MMO quest. But uh, let's go to the uh, quest. Um, let's go to the side quest. See, I want to do the quest that give me EXP. So this will give me 10k in gold. Let's go to the, um, well, there's daily events too. Let's go ahead and do that so we can join the daily event. Oh, okay. Let's go check this out. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I feel like a lot of games nowadays, like you gotta be playing with friends to have a lot of fun. Gather as many coins. Oh, this is like oh, this is like a Mario bonus round. Okay, let's uh, let's just gather all the coins. Oh, what? Oh, so there's oh there's things that stun you. Oh, okay, gotcha. I wish there was a little sound it would make when you pick up the coins, but I I didn't know that like I thought those were like giant coins at first and I walked into it and it was just like lightning. What a dingus. Alright, so let's just go ahead and collect all them coins without getting hit. Oh, this is kind of... It's interesting mechanics. And it also is technically like good practice for like when you're actually fighting the bosses. So I, I do kind of like that. We have 10 seconds left to gather all the coins. Um, we'll see what the coins turn into like as far as currency. Maybe it's its own currency. Maybe it's just it's converted to like gold. Alright, so we got 13,000 coins. Okay. Let's go ahead and use those coins, and let's see what we can buy. So, so apparently the gift and the story don't open up until level 10. Like, we need to get to level 10, boys. All right. Um, there was a, I think I said you can enhance your weapon. Um, oh, skill upgrade. Oh, maybe that would help. Um, oh, so skills called. Oh, wait, we got a new skill. All right, let's get that new skill first. Uh, let's just max everything, because if it just calls gold, um, that's really cool. It's not like skill point based. I really like that black hole skill. I'm gonna max that one out as quickly as I can. Alright, so we need level 10 to get that. Actually, was there any other skills? Skill switch? Is that two? Oh, okay, so I don't know if I have to equip the level 4 version. Because sometimes, like in some games, it's very rare that um, a game will have this, but Sometimes you want the lower level of the skill because 
you don't want it to cost a certain amount of mana, and there's certain integers where it just works out in your favor. So um, we definitely need more power for this one. Should we just try it anyways? I think we haven't tried this one. Let's try this one anyways. Let's just go for it. Yeah, dude, we got this. I, I believe. Maybe I'll let the I'll let the thing do it in auto because the auto one was pretty good. Minus the time where we got stuck into that wall. That was the only time where I felt like um, we definitely could have proved upon. Look at that! It, it actually dodged it, and then it absorbed. Oh, that's pretty. And the wow, the fireball is pretty good. It reminds me of um, the arcane orb with the uh, the fire rune. In oh wow, we were only at sixteen HP. Okay, but uh, it reminds me of that fire uh, the fire rune in Diablo three when you use arcane orb. It, lo it looks just like it. So like, I don't know. I kind of feel like at home with this game. Because, like, a lot of the uh, the abilities are similar to games that I've played before. And I like that, because there are certain skills that I just really, really like. Um, like, for example, like, Frozen Orb has one of been, been one of my favorite, like, abilities in, like, a game. And they added that to uh, Marvel Heroes, which was kind of cool. But, uh, let's see how the AI does. Because we can only get hit one, one more time. Oh, okay. So, uh, the AI fails. I think I would, probably would have failed at that one, too. Uh, I, I think our numbers just weren't high enough to be able to uh, finish that one off. But, uh, let's see. Okay, so... Let's do the, let's do one of the side quests. Uh, so, go claim... Go to the map and claim one chapter, one reward quest. Okay, so let's just start this one. Okay. So, let's do one of these quests, and then... Um, we'll see how much XP we can get off this one. So this is, looks like it's like the same area. So like there's probably a certain amount of tile sets and there's going to be more tile sets uh, as you progress in the game, which is like pretty normal for any uh, ARPG. Uh, some ARPG, a lot of ARPGs, like even, even the most, like I would say the most um, popular ARPG overall over the course of time is in the Diablo series. And uh, a lot of their like uh, enemies, when you go into the, the different difficulties, all I do is they change the color. And that is because there's just so many like things you need to create in a game and uh, if you just change the color you know it's, it's not too bad and I feel like since there's so many enemies on screen you're killing them it, it doesn't really bother most players personally for me as long as the game is fun like that that's mainly what I care about All right, I'm gonna take it off the auto and I want to play because <laughs> again I want to test out the auto feature but I feel like I don't understand why you would want to play a game if you know you're just gonna let it do it it's, and let it play itself but again you know you just turn that option off but i love that ability that ability looks so cool it's, it's pretty much black hole from uh diablo 3 which is, i love that i love that skill although right now it's not too meta like i think tal Rosh's is pretty much the more meta build i mean it's still a good ability uh, and like the higher graders to uh have things clumped up so you can AoE them right after. I feel like the, the best strategy is to use that, get them all clumped up, and then just drop the fireball right on top of them. And then uh, right after that, since they're going to be charging you, you immediately uh, use your like lightning column and you back up after that. That would be like the standard, I'd say, like bread and butter combo of the wizard as of right now. We got that perfect. Alright, so we get to claim all, all of those pretty good. But let's see what else there is in the game. There's enhance. Let's see this. So, oh, we can enhance our weapon. Oh, enhance. Oh, so this just increases our power. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe we can do this if we. Keep, where's instant enhance three? Okay. Oh, okay. So we're enhancing like everything that we have. Maybe this can give us enough power to do the boss. If we can have enough power to do the boss, then excellent. Okay, it looks. Okay, so we ran out of the uh, the artesian rocks. Maybe that wasn't the most efficient way, because maybe those were like rare. And before I just wasted a bunch of rare stuff, but you know, I can farm later on if I have to. Oh, let's go ahead. Oh, chest. Oh, we can claim a reward. Sweet. Okay, let's go. Let me go back. Oh, let's close this. Go back. And uh, one of them says finish quest. Oh, let's start quest. Oh, here we go. So claim the rewards. So we got some extra gold. All right. Uh, enhance all equipment to level nine. Okay, so that quest will will be we'll just eventually get that one when we start playing. All right, let's see if we can do this one. Um, okay, so I think this is the one that we couldn't do before because our power wasn't high enough. Let's see if we can finish this one off. All right. Oh, so yeah, here's a new tile set. Yeah, this is the one that we couldn't finish off because 
We didn't have the gear. We didn't have that DPS. I love that freaking ability. The one where it just that purple orb that just absorbs everything. And then it just hits them for a bunch of damage. Oh, this is much, much easier. Like, I'm dealing, like, way more DPS. I'm taking way less damage. And I have way more health, so... Yeah, like I said, a lot of ARPGs, it's all about the number game. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know why I like a uh, isometric ARPGs so much, but I really do. Like, they are my favorite genre of game. Like, I have no idea why. Uh, I think I've, I've dumped, like, thousands and... Th I think most people that play ARPGs have dumped thousands and thousands of hours into, like, them when they play. Alright. Uh, it's something satisfying about just killing, like, monsters in one hit. <laughs> And then, obviously, when it comes to the boss, then you have to actually, like, pay attention. Um, one thing I wish the dash had, though, was, um... Oops. Well, I just noticed there's no mana in this game. Everything's based off of cooldowns. That's kind of cool. Um, but I feel like the dash, I wish you could um, tap on it twice to go backwards from where your location is, because... How it works now is whatever direction you're running in, it'll go that way, which is great. That That's like the best way you can really utilize a dash. But I wish if you tapped on it twice, you could just go back. Because otherwise you have to drag your thumb, and I know I know it's, it's a whole one inch, but like, if you want a competitive game, and I, I'm interested in this game's PvP, right? So, um, I want, you know, to be as effective as possible. So that, that, that would be one thing that I would like added. Oh, dang it. Sometimes with the touch, touch screen, it's not like the game's fault, just... Touchscreen in general, like, I prefer having a, a joystick, but some games don't, well, if you're playing on Android, then you have a lot more access to this, but I'm playing this on iOS. So, so, some games will allow you to have, like, a Bluetooth controller, and I have one called the iPega, and it literally is a clone of the Xbox 360 controller, and I really like it, but uh, not every game supports it. And this one is relatively new, so it would have to be added, it, like, you know. And what kind of sucks is if a game doesn't get popular enough, they don't ever add the, uh, you know, the controls to the game. But um, that was pretty good. We were able to finish that one off. And uh, we're still level 9, though. Dang. I really feel like we need to get level 10 uh, to do, like, anything else in the game. But uh, overall, I I'm pretty satisfied with this game. Like, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, I could definitely recommend it if you guys have never played an ARPG. Um, and there's something that I want to really try out. But again, I might have to play the game for a while before I can show you guys the PvP uh, when I do that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this game because it was... Uh, a sponsored video and I'm sure that the people creating the game will watch this and they'll want the feedback but overall like I, I can't really say that there's something that I would really improve upon on um, again it'd be nice if you can party up with people like if I could go over to this guy if I can tap him um, I can add him as a friend but I would really like to be able to play with him in a game like in a party um, but again that, that might be just something that mobile games can't really do um, because I haven't seen a mobile game do that but if that is possible that'd be awesome um, I know that um, it's something that would be nice that that if they could add, I'm pretty sure they would. But overall, the graphics are really nice, and um, I like the look of this game. I like uh, the medieval theme. Uh, I always like that over futuristic for ARPGs. I don't know why. I just I just think it, it allows melee to be like more like realistic and like effective, so to speak. Um, but anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Like I said, if you guys want to check out the game yourself, I'll leave links down below in the description box. You guys can check it out and let me know what you guys think of the game. But I gotta level up, gotta get into that PvP because that's the main reason why I wanted to check out this game. Because it's real-time PvP, it's not just a number stat check. And then like the AI does it. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'm signing out.